Welcome back. This is episode 22. It's 2.17 a.m. And, uh, I've been making some changes. Um, first and foremost, I have replaced a lot of things with gray brick. I'm still in the process of doing that. So I've got these, all my furnaces working. Uh, all engines forward. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so, yes, I've been doing that, and I've gotten most of the stuff that I'm trying to replace is replaced. There's some left that hasn't been replaced. That stuff will be replaced. Like this stuff up here is all not replaced. Replaced pretty much everything in here. I got the nice glowstone in here. Looks fantastic, I think. Um, I almost wish I could make it bigger, just like add an extra block on either side, but it won't reach the the crafting table. The no nope, enchanting table if I do that. So I suppose I could make it so that I had pistons that just retracted all the bookcases back, but that would be like way too much, and then these ones wouldn't move, so it would just be space on that side. So. I don't know. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, let's see. I, I still need to do that wall and the ceiling. I've added a melon farm over here. Because originally I was going to have that little um, ladder going up there. And then I was like, you know what? I've already got the whole ladder space here. I don't know why I didn't want to use it over here. But I just didn't. Um, I thought it would be better if I went off to the side. Oh, I, I know what it was. I wanted to make a, a wheat farm, right? And I was like, well, I'm going to go up to the next floor, and I'll just have a, a hallway going out here that, like, branches off in four directions. That way, that way, that way, and that way. But that way is almost immediately the backside of the mountain. So instead, I was thinking I'll go that way, but there was the, um, the little, yep, don't even know, the ladder thing there. So I was like, okay... So then I guess I'll go that way, but then I was like, you know what, no, that's way too restrictive, because I can't go that way, and I can't go that way. I mean, that way. God, I'm tired. Um, so I ended up just covering that back up, extending the um, ladder up here, and then branching off this way to make my little melon farm. And there's pumpkins over here, but they don't grow as fast. So I put um, glowstone in the ceiling so that it's lit up all nice, and I've just got... Um, a hoe and some of the melons and stuff already. And then this comes out over here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put in another piston door there. And I'll just like put a button probably like on this one. I don't know. I wanted to... Oh no, okay. What I'm going to do is put the wheat farm out this way. Because... Or, see, I wanted to put it in here, because up there, the it goes over to the other side of the mountain, um, or this hill, at least, and comes down, like, the hill comes back down over here. But if I go in that bottom part down there, then I'm low enough that this shouldn't be a problem. And even if it is, then I can just cover up to, like, here in dirt, and it'll be totally covered. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen there. I might just end the hallway where it is, and put my door, or not even necessarily put my door, ow, okay. Well, I've got, I've got feather falling too on my boots, so falls like that don't hurt me. Um, I did end up getting back all safe from the nether and everything. That was kind of scary though, I got lost and, um, yeah. So, uh, obviously this part is going to, I'll replace that now while I'm talking, um, I was going to say this part is going to be replaced with graystone, and then I realized that I have graystone in my inventory, and I can just fix it now. Um, I haven't actually put a door in here yet, so, as you can tell. Um, but I will eventually. Um, in fact, I want to move these out one, because if I do put a 
a door here. It'll be like the front door, and it'll be it'll close like that. Um, I do want to replace all of this lighting with um, glowstone at some point or another. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on this room. I might just do like one there and one there, and then every three, maybe so every two. I don't I don't know. I have plenty of glowstone, um, so it's really not that much of a problem. And when, while I got lost, I made sure to uh, take advantage of the fact that there was glowstone everywhere. So, I don't know why I'm collecting so many melons, um, possibly for um, the for my alchemy chest. I don't, I don't know, because melons themselves are almost useless because they give the least health of any food that I, or the least hunger of any food that I know of. So, as it is, I'm kind of like, uh, but I don't know. So, I'll, I'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I was, I had done, I had used up another five stacks up here of stone. So I was like, all right, I'll just cook some more. And then I was sitting here and I was like, hmm, you know, uh, I'm kind of bored. So I'll record an episode and let people know what's going on. Um, I replaced all the stone out here so that, you know, and up there it's all nice and gray brick now, which I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, I almost feel like it's a spaceship docking bay, but maybe that's just because I'm a nerd. Um, I forget if bows, they do not. Okay. They used to, arrows used to get stuck on reeds, so. Um, skeletons don't shoot you through, won't shoot at you through reeds though, so that's cool. At least I don't think so. They did change glowstone to a transparent black block. Transparent black, yeah. Oh, I put mossy cobblestone here just so the, just for an indication that it's where a button goes. Actually, I might do that for all of my buttons, just so it's like you can see the stuff on it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Not necessarily for like a pressure plate, because it's you know. Anyway, um, I think last episode I put that there, or the episode before, or the episode before that. I don't know. Um, I removed the wall here because they don't seem to be able to get out of there, even though they look like they should be able to. It really scares me because I feel like they're just going to pour out of there one day and come down and I'm just going to be like, oh god, they're everywhere. They're going to be all my mushroom farm and everything. But anyway, okay, these are done. So that's cool. I think this should be enough to finish it. Um, maybe not, though. It, it'll it definitely be enough to finish everything on this floor, like the ceiling and everything. But coming up to this floor... I doubt it, because I've gone through like 14 stacks already, um, taking out all this, because I know I did four stacks one time, and then I came up and kept pulling out stacks, but most of the time when I replace these, I, because the way you make the, um, the gray bricks, four clean stone makes four stone bricks, so you get, so all I had to do was, um, pick up all of the cobblestone that I was mining out of the floor and the ceiling and stuff, and then use it to make more stone bricks, which is why I didn't end up using that much of this chest. Because, um, like, if I mine out this wall and then replace it, I'll have the whole wall in cobblestone instead, so I just have to cook it and then turn it into gray bricks. Um, so I'm not losing out on cobblestone, which is awesome. Um... Yeah, I want to do this and just have it, like, walk outside so I can just, um, you know, walk down some steps here and then turn into this thing. I might even just, like, encase it in glass and something like that just so that you can come out here and there will be, like, um, I don't know how I'd do that. I was going to say there might be another thing. I might just make it a a separate door and just have, like, some iron doors here or uh, no, I'd have piston doors. I don't know where I'd put the button, though. Um, maybe I'll make it a... No. We'll make some pressure plates. Just put them on the ground and have that feed around to the piston door. So that way you just walk in and it flips the switch. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so that was me talking for almost ten minutes. So there you go. I wasn't. I was worried that I'd run out of things to say. 
before the 10 minutes came up because I wasn't actually doing anything. But uh, it seems to be working perfectly fine, so... Alright. Um, more of an update episode than anything. I hope you guys like hearing me talk because th I did a lot of that this episode. Um, yep, these are my new home renovations, and that's pretty much it. Uh, tell me what you think of it. I think it's nice and pretty. But uh, I will be replacing all these torches with glowstones in the future, so keep that in mind. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.